I'm super excited about this week's video because we're going out and we're exploring my favorite suburb. And in fact, it's not just my favorite suburb. If the stats are any indication, it's everyone's favorite suburb. It's been the third fastest growing municipality in all of British Columbia. It's also very consistently one of the hottest real estate markets in the Lower Mainland, including the last couple of months. That suburb is North Vancouver and North Vancouver is an amazing place. And we're going to get out. We're going to explore it, not here in the studio, but outside. I'm going to drive you around. I'm going to take you on foot and I'm going to show you exactly what it's like living in North Vancouver so you can decide if it's a place that you want to move to. If you want to figure that out, stay tuned. We're going to get into it right now. So to begin with, let's talk about what is North Vancouver? Where is it? directly north of the city of Vancouver. It's across Burrard Inlet and it's right below the North Shore Mountains. So we call the North Shore Mountains, that's uh, Cypress, uh, Grouse and Seymour Mountain. And it's on that slope leading up to those mountains. So a lot of North Vancouver is actually pretty hilly. There's not a lot of flat ground in North Vancouver and there's approximately 150,000 people that live in North Vancouver. It's divided between the district of North Vancouver and the city of North Vancouver. They're both relatively small, but combined they're 150,000 people. So, you know, not insubstantial and it is growing. There's a lot of development happening as it has become more and more popular. The North Vancouver of my childhood was was a place that was a little more blue collar. There was a lot of industry. There's a lot of orientation towards the ports, uh, to, towards the port of Vancouver. Uh, but that has changed as so much of the city has. And there's been a lot of gentrification, a lot of growth, and that is only continuing. It is a beautiful place to live. Let's check out exactly why in the rest of the video. North Vancouver truly is amazing, but it's very unique. I, I've sort of described that in other videos where every single neighborhood, every single suburb has its own flair, its own pros and cons. And that's what we're gonna get into right here, the pros and cons of North Vancouver, but they are very distinct, very different than Vancouver, than Coquitlam, than Delta. Uh, so let's get into those pros and cons right here. One of the things that people really love about the North Shore, and I got to say is my number one pro, is access to the outdoors. Look around us right now, I'm in London Canyon Park, and uh, the Canyon Suspension Bridge is just down uh, the creek here a little bit. There's hundreds of people around right now. Parking lots are jam-packed. Lots of people just enjoying the beautiful weather. It's the end of August right now. Some people actually braving the incredibly cold water. I'm not one of them. I do not like cold water just generally don't like the cold too much at all. Beauty of being on the North Shore, in North Vancouver in particular, is this access to the outdoors, hiking trails, to the mountains, to the lakes and the rivers, year round access. Uh, so in the summer months, it's a great place to just cool off and explore. And in the winter months, you get a chance to get out into the snow. Um, one of the big bonuses, I think, in the winter when it gets kind of dark and cloudy is there's certain days where the cloud cover is really low and you can get up above the cloud cover and into the sun which is a great way of getting a little uh, vitamin D in the middle of winter. And not only do you have all of this right in your backyard, which I think really most of the people that are deciding to live in North Vancouver, that's, that's really important to them. But it's also the accessibility to other parts of the province. And in particular, I'm thinking of Whistler. So um, you have really easy access up the highway, uh, the Sea to Sky Highway up to Whistler. So you have sort of the, one of the best international mountains for skiing at Whistler Blackcomb. And then you just have the, the regional ski hills right up above uh, Cypress, Seymour and Grouse Mountain, uh, right all in your back door, all at your back door, I should say. Just beautiful nature, easily accessible. And that's a big pro of living in North Vancouver. Another big pro of living in North Vancouver is that um, what you're getting, you're basically just getting more for your money. There's more value in comparison to the city of Vancouver. Um, you're generally getting bigger lots or more space and or more space. So the houses are usually a bit bigger. The condos are a bit bigger, similar price points. If you're spending the same amount of money, you're just getting more when you come to the North Shore. And that's something that's pulling a lot of people 
away from the city and over to the North Shore, North Vancouver in particular, areas like Edgemont, uh, Lynn Valley, Dollarton, Deep Cove, uh, all these great communities uh, are really seeing an influx and an exponential growth in recent years. One of the big pros of living in North Vancouver is that it's a quieter, more suburban lifestyle. Uh, so as I've mentioned, you know, you're so close to nature, in fact, Let's see if you can see that in behind me. There's uh, Grouse Mountain. Uh, and I don't know if you know this about me or if I've shared it before, but I used to hold the record for the most ascents of that mountain, uh, 14 back in 2010. Uh, and I've, I broke it and set it three times in a row, uh, three years in a row, 2008, 2009, and 2010, 12, 13, then 14 times. And that was uh, for charity. I did that for the Royal LePage Shelter Foundation, the largest source of funding for uh, women's shelters and violence prevention programs in Canada. Um, and I raised over the course of a number of years, close to $100,000 and uh, still raising money for that in fact. Anyways back to why people love living in North Vancouver. It's because it is so quiet, so secluded, so um, suburban. And uh, you know, there's great schools, there's family oriented neighborhoods, uh, neighbors being neighborly, talking to one another, taking care of their yards. Um, and that's what people really gravitate towards when they're moving to North Vancouver. And that's something you're gonna love, I think, if you're thinking of moving to North Vancouver as well. Hold on one sec. If you're thinking of moving to North Vancouver or anywhere in the Lower Mainland, I've been a realtor for 15 years. I've helped hundreds of people move to the Lower Mainland and I can help you too. My contact information is right there on the screen. Reach out anytime, we can get that ball rolling. Now let's get back to that video. What better place to talk about one of the biggest cons of living in uh, North Vancouver, at least in my opinion, then here in nature, one of the biggest pros. This is the result of one of the biggest cons. What you see behind me, the green, the lushness, the forest, um, it's the end of August. I don't know if you remember, if you're watching this sometime in the future, but at the moment in a lot of the rest of BC, there's a massive forest fire danger. We have so much rain on the North Shore that yes, uh, there is a forest fire danger even uh, even here, but uh, there is so much rain that it's so lush and green when the rest of the city is, quite a lot of it is brown and dry and uh, like a, a, a tinder box ready to, to, to explode. Here in North Vancouver, you have all this greenery, all this lushness, all this beauty. Um, and this is what you get when it rains uh, so much of, of the winter months. So in comparison to the rest of Vancouver, uh, North Vancouver has 2,500 millimeters of rain a year. And Vancouver, the city of Vancouver, not very far away, just about 10 kilometers away, only gets uh, 1,500 millimeters of rain. So considerably less in the city of Vancouver and even less in Delta where it's only a thousand millimeters. So, you know, that's something to weigh if you're thinking about moving to North Vancouver. Yes, you get this natural beauty, get this lush natural vegetation um, all year round, but you gotta deal with the rain in the winter. And on top of the rain, really, it's the darkness in the winter months. It's bright and sunny in the summer, uh, but in the winter months, even darker than the city of Vancouver, uh, because you got that cloud cover. The clouds come in off of the Pacific Ocean and they get stuck on the North Shore Mountains. And before they can elevate over the North Shore Mountains, they're dumping the precipitation they're holding and they're covering the North Shore. And so it's raining a little more on the North Shore and then those mountain, those clouds rise over the mountains and keep going. That's your, your uh, geography lesson. For, uh, for this part of the episode. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a con, definitely something that I think a lot of people get to be a little bit surprised how different it can really be in different parts of the world. surprise that one of the biggest cons of living in North Vancouver is the cost of real estate. It's really consistent throughout the lower mainland. Uh, you know, when you're looking at $2.3 million for a house, uh, $1.4 million for a townhouse, 800,000 for a condo. That's a lot of money and no two ways about it. Even though North Vancouver money does go a little further, there's a little bit better value than in the city of Vancouver. Uh, it's still a lot and, and it's something that people really struggle with. And it is driving some people to leave the North shore to find areas where, uh, you know, the cost of living and the cost of housing in particular is lower. Um, so definitely the cost of housing is a big con. Con number three might be the biggest one for me personally. Uh, I 
hate being stuck in traffic and I'm stuck in traffic right now, uh, but it is rush hour traffic. It is just commuting in general off of the North Shore. If you don't need to, um, living in North Vancouver is amazing. Uh, the, the pluses definitely outweigh the cons. Um, but for me, the, the, the biggest con is really if you need to commute, if you need to get off the North Shore on a regular basis, and you need to get to downtown Vancouver in particular, there's only three ways to get there. There's the Second Arrows Bridge, there's the Lionsgate Bridge, and then there's the C Bus. And again, the C Bus is a great option if you're living in Lower Lonsdale, Central Lonsdale, uh, pretty close to it, and you know, you're trying to get to downtown Vancouver. Let's say you're a lawyer, an architect working in downtown Vancouver. Great, um, easy commute. The C Bus leaves every 15 minutes. It only takes 12 minutes. It's a beautiful trip, uh, really pleasant. And also just, to, you know, not just downtown Vancouver, but also if you're anywhere on the SkyTrain line um, from um, from the other side there, you can get to the SkyTrain really easily and be on your way very quickly and very conveniently. But if you live in most other areas of North Vancouver or you need to commute anywhere else, it is a pain. You know, it's not just the two bridges that shut down, but it's also North Vancouver kind of in general because it's, has such limited east-west connectors. It's really, you know, Marine Drive and the Upper Levels Highway that you can get east to west from. And if traffic is really bad, um, all those routes really back up. Traffic can get pretty bad. Now it's not LA bad or Toronto bad, but it is some of the heavier traffic you're gonna see in Metro Vancouver. And that's just something that you wanna be aware of, you wanna take into account if you're thinking of moving to North Vancouver. They are planning on moving more people, building more density. They're not planning on building more routes out of North Vancouver. So I would be keeping that in mind, uh, but you know, there's so much to love about North Vancouver. So many people are obviously making the choice to, to live over here despite the traffic. It might not be as big a deal for you as it is for me, but I'll let you decide. I wanted to touch on transportation uh, on the North Shore, North Vancouver in particular. Um, obviously there is no SkyTrain in North Vancouver. Well, not obviously, you may not know that. I, To me, it's obvious, uh, but there is a bus. Uh, bus system on the North Shore is actually really good considering how spread out and how few people live over here. I mean, it's not inconsiderable. It's 150,000 people, but still they have uh, the same bus system that we have in the city of Vancouver. And it's great, uh, except it's not as reliable and convenient as the SkyTrain system is. There's, you know, a push on the North Shore for SkyTrain by, by some parties, but it's unlikely to come. The real challenge for the North Shore uh, coming and going is that there's really just three ways to get over here if you need to, to get here from the city or to go to the city from here, and that's two bridges and the sea bus. So we have the Lionsgate Bridge and we have the Iron Workers Memorial or the Second Narrows Bridge. Those are interchangeable names. And then we have in between them, the sea bus that goes from Lower Lonsdale, uh, the Lonsdale Key, over to downtown, downtown Vancouver. Um, so if there's an issue with one of those bridges, you can really get stuck over here and it can, you know, on a good day, it might only take you half an hour to drive into downtown Vancouver, but on a bad day, it could take you two or three hours if there's something going on on one of the bridges um, and some sort of police incident or uh, some sort of construction, uh, it can become absolute gridlock. And incidentally, speaking of gridlock, um, North Vancouver does run east to west and there's only a couple ways to get from the west side to the east side of North Vancouver and again in rush hour traffic it can become really bad gridlock and it's getting worse as you know they're building more and more density over here it's just something to be aware of if you're considering moving over here uh, lots of people love it um, and especially if you're working from home uh, if you're retired or don't need to go into the office too often or if even better if you actually work on the north shore uh, then you know these types of things don't really matter but it is something to consider if you're moving here from somewhere else you definitely want to be aware of what the commute is like and i would suggest if you're going to do it maybe just uh, test it out you know do the commute a few times see what it's like and uh, you know maybe there's some flexibility in your work day as well um, so those are all just things to keep in mind i want to make sure that you're aware
Hey, real quick, if you're enjoying this video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more of me. I do make videos about living in Vancouver every single week. And down in the comments below, I'd love to know if there's other areas, uh, whether it's a suburb or a neighborhood, that you'd like to see me make videos about. Now let's get back to the video. All right, so now I want to explore the different types of housing in North Vancouver. I want to explore houses, townhouses, and condos. Those are the three main housing types that we're going to find in North Vancouver. Let's get back out there and take a look. Talking about houses in North Vancouver, 2.286, $100 is what a typical house in North Vancouver is going to cost you. Um, that sales to active listing ratio is 28%. So just slightly above the 25% barrier uh, for where the balance market is. It is in a seller's market. Um, it's not as hot as condos and townhouses are, um, but you get a lot in North Vancouver for that 2.3 roughly million dollars. See behind me a couple examples, uh, big lots. The houses aren't necessarily huge, but the property is. So much bigger than you're going to see 6,000, 7,000 square feet lots uh, quite a bit. You're going to see houses built, you know, in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, um, a little bit older. Uh, but as the house in behind me here now, um, you also get sort of spot development of newer construction. Um, and so it's very similar to the city of Vancouver, where you don't see new subdivisions being built. Uh, the city of, or sorry, North Vancouver has been built out for decades. Uh, so no real new subdivisions for the past few decades. If you want to build a new house, what you do is you buy an older house like the one behind me, and then you build a brand new house like that one right there. Um, so that's the way that you're going to see development. Obviously, new construction is going to be considerably more than just 2.3 million. Um, and you are going to see lot value less than 2.3 million. So there are options, but if you want greater affordability, then you're going to want to look at, you know, townhouses and condos as options. Um, but what you do get in North Vancouver is more space. Um, the houses, as I said, aren't necessarily a lot bigger, but the property definitely is. You're generally getting a lot more land in North Vancouver. If you've been watching my channel, you'll know that one of the most popular housing options these days are uh, townhouses and half duplexes. Big part of that is affordability and also just what is available and relatively affordable for families. Families that can't quite afford and who can a single family residential house in Vancouver these days uh, and in the lower mainland I should uh, point out um, they're looking at other options like townhouses so um, North Vancouver is definitely no exception to this it is a very close second to the condo market in terms of how hot it is um, so this past month August 2023 it had a sales to active listing ratio of 38.5 blistering pace uh, incredibly competitive market very sought after product and prices sort of your typical price for a townhouse in north vancouver these days is 1.359 1 million three hundred and fifty nine thousand and that's going to get you you know roughly 1200 1250 square feet three bedrooms places like the the units that i'm walking past right now and this is a lovely little development you can always see you know these townhouse developments they're multi-story you have your own front uh your, your front door onto the um onto the street and you also have a little bit of outdoor space so it's not quite a house but it's a good stopgap or or in between stage between a condo and a house and as i said relatively and i know over a million dollars is still expensive but still relatively inexpensive in relation to what a single family house costs these days so I mentioned that North Vancouver's real estate market is hot. What is the hottest part of the market in North Vancouver? It is condos. Condos are at a staggering 43% sales to active listing ratio for the month of August in 2023. And uh, the typical condo in North Vancouver sells for 814,000. There's a couple in behind me here, the big tower uh, directly behind me here in Lynn Valley. And then one of the smaller uh, condo developments, uh, four story, and the condos are absolutely gorgeous. This development in here behind me, I sold a place in here last year. Beautiful, uh, huge, spacious, very well run, very well built. Highly recommend considering uh, one of these condos if you're looking in Valley. Um, and yeah, there is just more density being built on the North Shore as people are looking for alternatives away from the density of uh, 
of the city, uh, out of the downtown core. People are able to work from home. They're not as worried necessarily about traffic and congestion. And they're looking for more of a balance in their lifestyle. And that's what's drawing people here to North Vancouver. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you probably have a really good understanding how different neighborhoods in the Lower Mainland can be, let alone the municipalities and the suburbs. So North Vancouver is no exception. It is really unique, really special. And so what I want to do now is get into my personal pros and cons of living in North Vancouver. Let's let's get into it right now. My favorite parts of uh, North Vancouver, one of my favorite communities, I should say, neighborhoods is Deep Cove. And it's just stunning. It feels like you're in another world. It's off to the side, the far eastern side of North Vancouver. And you can see Deep Cove right in behind me. It's a great place to hang out in the summer. Uh, go for a paddle, head out into Indian Arm out there. Wonderful when it's bright and sunny. One thing to be aware of in the winter months, it is not the brightest spot. I mentioned uh, the weather on the North Shore. Uh, it's even more extreme in Deep Cove. Uh, so it does get dark. It does get very, very wet in the winter months, uh, but it is incredibly beautiful. And it's a really sort of interesting neighborhood all in its own right. It has some really cool little cafes and shops and uh, a neighborhood center to it, a village, if you will. And uh, yeah, it's just a little further out than you'd expect. Uh, so it does take some time to get out here, whether you're driving or taking public transit. So keep that in mind if you are gonna be commuting somewhere and not working from home. If there is a downtown core to North Vancouver, it is Lower Lonsdale. Traditionally, it was sort of the, the heartbeat of the industrial part of the city, but it's been redeveloped massively in the last 20 years or so. Um, huge amounts of money poured into the development. Massive high rises built, lots of condos, lots of townhouses, sort of the epicenter of high density. Um, and if you want to compare it to somewhere in Vancouver, I compare it to Yale Town, you know, traditionally very industrial part of uh, Vancouver that's been transformed into a highly desirable, uh, high density living sort of location. Um, and one of the great things about being in Lower Lonsdale as, and one of the reasons that it is one of my favorite neighborhoods is it's so, quickly and readily available, uh, accessible to downtown Vancouver. All you have to do is jump on the C bus. C bus just takes 12 minutes to get from Lower Lon Lonsdale to Lonsdale Key over to downtown Vancouver and it runs every 15 minutes. So uh, you don't have to rely on the bridges. And that's one of the things that a lot of people really like about Lower Lonsdale. Um, you know, they, they'll be able to live on the North Shore and take advantage of the outdoor uh, pursuits that they want to pursue um, but and and be accessible to downtown but actually not live in downtown so that's one of the reasons that I really like it too. One of my favorite or actually I should say my favorite uh, neighborhood in North Vancouver is Edgemont Village that's where I am right now and why is it so special? Uh, well it's special because it's actually a functional neighborhood. It does not feel suburban. It has a village center that's very, very walkable. And I think, you know, it really reminds me of an area like uh, Caresdale or Dunbar in the city of Vancouver. You see a number of the same businesses in, in those places. Um, so there's a lot of similarities. Um, now it's, it's not inexpensive. It's a fairly pricey neighborhood. Um, it's well above the average, what's typical in North Vancouver. Um, but it is predominantly single family residential. There are some condos and townhouses, um, but yeah, predominantly single family residential is what you're gonna find and very family oriented. Lots, as I'm walking through, seeing a lot of families, a lot of young kids, um, but definitely a lot more prosperity than you're gonna see in some of the other areas. So, you, you know, this is an area that you're definitely gonna need to pay a premium to live in if that's what you're looking for in comparison to what you'll find in other parts of North Vancouver. So that idea of where is their value, it's not necessarily in Edgemont Village. Uh, this is where, uh, you know, there's a luxury to living here. It's a luxury price point. And if that's what you're looking for, you're gonna love it here in Edgemont Village. It's absolutely gorgeous. And that's it for North Vancouver. I hope you really enjoyed that video. It was a lot of fun to put together, but a lot of work. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Put it in the comments below if you'd like to see more videos like this. And I'd love to know what other suburbs or neighborhoods you'd like to see more information, more videos about. 
give me a like and subscribe if you were into this video. And also, if you're thinking of moving to the Lower Mainland or Vancouver specifically, be sure to reach out anytime. My contact information is right there. Uh, we can get that ball rolling, get that conversation started. I'm going to be right back here next week with yet another video for you. And in the meantime, here's a video I think you're going to enjoy. It's all about the cost of living in the Lower Mainland. And then this video here is uh, a video that YouTube thinks you're really going to like. All right, I'll see you next week.